hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video i will explain and solve problem set 2 camel case so camel case is a way of typing variable names whereby the first letter of the first word is lowercase but the first letter of each subsequent word is uppercase snake case is another way of typing variable names that python recommends whereby words are instead separated by underscores with all characters in lowercase now what we want to do is to prompt the user for the name of a variable in camel case and we should output the corresponding name in the first in the in snake case so first let's take input from the user and let's also print out a message camel case And then let's make an empty variable to store the input when converted to snake case. What we want to do is to access every character in the camel case string and for that we will make a for loop which loops a number of times according to the length of the string. So let's make that. And now we want to separate the words by underscores and lowercase every character. But in order to know where a word ends and another word begins, we will search for an uppercase character. Because in the camel case style, it indicates the beginning of a new word. So let's make an if statement to search for an uppercase character. And what we want to do when finding an uppercase character is to add an underscore before it and also lowercase that character. Then we want to add them into the snake case variable. Otherwise, if the character is already lowercase, we will just add it to the snake case variable without any changes. So else. And now after printing out the variable name, after modification, we should be done. Let's try the examples given in the problem. Okay, let's run the program. And the first one is to type name. So our program should output name without any changes because that's only one word. So yeah, that's working. Let's try the second example, which is first name written in camel case. Our program should output first, then underscore, then name with the end in lowercase. So let's see if that's the case. Okay, that's also working. Let's try the third and last example, which is preferred first name. And in this one, our program should output preferred, then underscore, then first with the 
letter F uppercase, then underscore, then name with the N in lowercase. Let's try it out. Okay, now that's also working. You can solve this problem in multiple different ways. That's definitely not the way to do it. I would really recommend trying this on your own with a different approach. And as I said before, do not copy and paste the code as this will not help you improve your skills. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.